a one-time Texas high school football star who was sentenced to 25 years behind bars without the possibility of parole for sexually assaulting a child, has been granted bond and released after a judge said his due process rights were violated during a flawed police investigation. State District Judge Donna King said police did not corroborate information from the child victim and did not speak to other potential persons of interest. King also granted bond to Greg Kelly, 22, based on what she ruled was ineffective assistance from his attorney. The judge cited Kelly's decision to waive his appeal. She wrote, There can be no sound strategy to waive the appeal of a conviction unsupported by sufficient evidence. Counsel's advice to waive his appeal was deficient. Four years ago, Greg Kelly, then 18, was arrested on a charge of sexual assault of a four-year-old boy at an in-home day care center. Two weeks later, a second boy came forward with allegations of assault. Almost a year later, in July 14, he was convicted and sentenced. The case was brought back to life in May this year after Williamson County District Attorney Sean Dick claimed that he had been given credible evidence suggesting that the son of the daycare facility operator, Jonathan McCarty, may have been involved in the abuse. This spurred Texas Rangers to reinvestigate the case. McCarty, a friend of Kelly's, has not been charged, but has been named by Texas Rangers as one of three suspects. According to the Austin American statesman, Jonathan McCarty, whose mother operated the in-home daycare where the crime is believed to have happened, remains in the Williamson County Jail on unrelated charges. A third person who authorities say is also a suspect has not been identified. Fox News reported McCarty's lawyer vehemently denied allegations against her client, with claims he is being scapegoated in a quest to prove Kelly's innocence.